Well, as of the 24th of uh, November, 2,194 cases of measles have been recorded nationally, including 144 in the previous uh, 24 hours. There have been 25 measles-related uh, deaths, and these are mainly uh, below three. And the median age is around 13 months. Faleata West and Maimongo West continues to have the highest number of measles related to date. So uh, we are looking at 183 measles patients currently admitted. This is 142 here at our main reference hospital. Six at uh, currently at uh, Malieto Tanufili Lua in Savai. Eighteen at Leon Moenga and seventeen at all other district hospitals in total. Admissions, we still have 20 critically ill children in ICU, HDU. We also have four pregnant women at TTMO currently being treated. Out of all these admin, 30 have been discharged home in stable condition. Looking at the national level, two thirds of all admissions were all measles cases related. And there is also noted in the search of admissions, uh, this is including measles, diabetes, sepsis, and all other body control, hypertensive, and all other cases. The total number of measles admissions recorded since the outbreak to date has been around 679, and 69% of that proportion have recovered and been discharged home. At the last 24 hours, the on Saturday, at our APCC clinic, 122 measles cases were seen, of which 58% were able to go home. Of the now, our measles campaign is ongoing, targeting the most problem area of Faleata West, Waimonga West, uh, especially the priority groups of six months to 19 years for everyone and uh, I mean six months to 19 years males and females and uh, 20 to 35 years non-pregnant women. So these are women of childbearing age. This is prioritized as the most vulnerable for complications, severe complications of measles. Uh, yesterday, we mobilized 14 teams, you know, about 16 teams. We're hoping to have 20, but we're moving there. We are covering all of Savai'i in the campaign now. We are dispatching two teams each to help with the district hospitals, Satsupaitea, Foalalo, Satawa, uh, three teams to Safoto, and then four to to a city with a fixed site at the Salil Longa Market. As we move along, uh, the nurses in the district are very confident of their coverage, but we have to make sure. Uh, so we are still posting a lot of staff there. And as we move along, we are going to re continue to reinforce the teams depending on the need. Uh, We have uh, finalized the document for proof of immunization between uh, American Samoa and, uh, and Samoa. There have been a lot of issues because of the public health declaration of emergency and the fact that they just wanted a proof of immunization. 
or evidence of being immunized, and they haven't really uh, stated who will issue that. So there have been issues of others being issued from Savai, others being issued from district hospitals, those who have uh, done immunizations. So they have come back to us to make sure that it's being issued here at the Ministry of Health, and it's been signed by one or two people. That would be the only one they would recognize. So we have advised the shipping agencies and our airlines so that people will know where to get it. So we have a team here at the API unit who will issue those looking at your record. If you need to be immunized, you will be also, and then certified and get that document for you to carry to American Samoa. So I think that's, that's all I can say for now. Uh, we still have a big problem at hand, and we are continuing to receive a lot of assistance, especially staff uh, from uh, New Zealand, Australia. We even have a team from French Polynesians who have landed here during the weekend. Uh, we are getting supplies also uh, from uh, New Zealand and Australia. And we are seeing uh, reinforcements of staff coming also. We have also uh, communicating with WHO for more EMT teams to come.